What's up, guys? Welcome to Slops Locks Thunderdome Edition, the greatest sports betting show in the history of sports betting shows. Everybody knows that. If you've never seen the show before, do yourself a favor. Hit the subscribe button right now. Get the notifications on. You'll never want to miss another one of these shows for as long as you live. While you're doing all that, I'm going to introduce today's panel. You know them. You love them. You've already seen both of these guys on here before. The first one, at Dead Press Picks on Twitter or X, whatever you call it. The great Matt McEwen. What's up, bro? What's up, boys? Yeah, fired up. Friday vibes are good. Uh, mm -hmm. We we're just talking. Let's get a little little nine-legger uh, for the people today. And uh, why not? I, th I think we're due for a full show sweep. So feeling great coming into today's episode, guys. I like I like I like that you point out the vibes are high because I'll be honest with you, just talking backstage just now, the vibes are very high. Probably the vibes highest they've high. ever been. Like, I'm, not, I'm not the biggest vibe measurer, but like yeah. if I had to measure vibes, if I can remember them all, I think this is the highest vibes I think the show's ever seen. I am a vibe high. measurer and, I, and they're very high. Okay. Yeah. They're good, good, good. Brown. That Brown. voice you heard is the great Tommy G. He is the other member of today's panel who's going to knock down a nine-layer with us. At Tommy G Returns 2 on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it. What's up, Tommy? What's up, my boys? Everything good? A lot of little, nice little energy pickup in the pre-show here. It looks like we're all ready to fuck today. And mm -hmm. I, I, I have five picks, which I'm sure Matt and you will steal a couple of them. All mm -hmm. five have hit every time for the last two weeks. So Ooh, we're, we're coming. Good. We're coming. And they're all that's nice good. payouts. We're coming. We're coming. Yep. We're coming for them today. And these didn't be, just hit. Stop. These didn't just hit. I put these out. So these are okay. bets that hit. So these yeah, aren't just like better. backtracking. Yeah, we're on better. it right now. No, on. I was thinking about it this morning ever since I woke up today uh, and yesterday and the day before. All we have to do is if I sweep – Tommy, you sweep, and right. then Matt, you sweep. Yeah. Right. That's nine. That's right. nine, like parlay. Like that's, that's and that feels like a pretty good. We've done that before on the show. You guys do know the that, right? Yep. Yeah. Do yeah. the job. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. So, yeah. Just everyone the, do their job. Yeah. The block is definitely hot. Yeah. Trust yes. me, it is. That's I've seen it. Well, I guess we could start. It looks like Nigel gave Matt the leadoff spot. I'm gonna be coming in the two hole, and then Tommy's gonna bring us in with the with at number three. But uh. That's a weird rotation, but again, again, it doesn't matter. The vibes are too high. Can't be stopped. What's up, Matt? You're up. What's going on, boys? Yeah, vibes are good. Uh, all right, we'll start with this. We'll start with – Tommy, you're not going to like this because we were talking about the uh, the T-Wolves, but I like the Nuggets to pick one off tonight uh, yeah. on the money line. So, I uh, plus 150. I, I know you got your future on the Wolves. I still do think the Wolves win the series. Um, it's, the line here reminds me a little bit of the line that we saw last night. I was on the Mavs. Spread money line, they got it done. It was nice a call. Uh, plus five, plus five spread there. Uh, yeah, appreciate it. A little, little humble brag there, but anyway, with tonight's game, I, I do think we see the uh, the Nuggets bounce back offensively. What did they score last game, guys? 80 points or something? It, it was terrible. 42, I think. Seven, yeah, it felt like it. I it mean, wasn't a lot. it wasn't a lot, it wasn't a lot, is the bottom line. Uh, Jokic, uh, just won another MVP. Don't think he cares about that at all. But, you know, it, look, they're, they're going to come out. They're, they're going to give their best effort. If they lose this game tonight, series is done. They probably get swept uh, and, and it's over. So this this is a desperation game from them tonight. My biggest play of the day is on their spread. But, listen, I want a little plus money here in the Thunderdome so you can get it at plus 150. I do think the Nuggets uh, bounce back and and win this game tonight. And I, I think the series – I still think the Wolves win the series, but I do think it goes six, maybe even seven games. Um yeah, give, give me Denver tonight. Got him. All right. I mean, Tommy, we can hit an eight-legger. I was I just going to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's what you do. Here's what you do. Because I'm sure a lot of people out there are going to be split on that pick. And Matt is a fucking genius. I mean, the kid hits crazy shit all the time. Just do an eight-legger with the Wolves money line. Do an eight-legger with the Nuggets money line. There you there go. go. Yeah, yeah. Well, your ninth yeah. leg, your ninth leg, you play both sides. Yes, you play both sides. There. I like it. I like it. Well, I'm going to keep it safe. I'm not going to get as crazy as Matt. I'm going to go with a guy you may have heard of him, Shohei Otani, to yep. hit a dinger tonight. It's plus 340 at FanDuel. Honestly, when I woke up this morning, I thought the line was going to be like minus 130 on this. So getting plus 340 feels like a godsend. He's got Michael King, I believe. I'm not even sure who he's hitting against. It doesn't matter. He has hit like 11 home runs in I don't even know how many at-bats from the left side of the plate this season, this guy is slapping the shit out of the ball. It's crazy, actually, to be honest with you. 
I, I mean, I make jokes saying like minus 160 or whatever, but I mean, it should literally be down with like Aaron Judge's number or even lower. Give me Shohei for all the money, guys. Let's go. Tommy, I like it. I like how Slop said he's going to play it safer than Matt. I know. That's what I was double, saying. double the juice. <laughs> <laughs> the, the math is off. The math is off. But you, you might be right. Otani, a home round might be a little safer. Uh, the right. Here's the thing. It's Michael King. Uh, they're playing the Padres. It's Michael King. He's seen him nine times. Guess how many home runs he's hit off of him? Uh, three. Three. All right. Oh, now, that doesn't matter. Nice guy. work, Matt. Um, yeah. Now, that really doesn't matter. A like pitcher versus, you know, whatever, Matt. But, I mean, I'm just saying, like, it's – he whatever King throws, everything he throws, literally Otani smashes. Like, everything. So, yeah. it's kind of like the bar- – his barrels are, like, 25% against most of these pitches. So, I, I don't know. I don't I don't know how he keeps him in the yard every time. And then here's the thing. Even if they bring in someone else afterwards, he'll hit him over the fence, too. It doesn't matter. This guy's pitcher-proof. Yeah. I like him. I, I, like, I like, him. I like that term pitcher proof. Uh, I, I think it might be. Yeah. I like he's it. pitcher proof. All right. So I got two plays for you here. I'm going to the same game. Cause I got a feeling you guys might come in. You probably know exactly where I'm going. We've been slaughtering this the first two games of the series. Uh, these are both players for the Pacers. I'm going with Obi Toppin first, uh, loved him coming into this series versus the Knicks, former Knicks, Nick, you saw him between the leg dunk in a game mm-hmm. in the first game when it was only yeah. a five point yeah. game. Uh, actually won. been dominating, getting better. We laddered him up to 15 the first game and 20 last game at plus 750. Fandle is so scared of this bet slop that they pulled it all. So you can't even yep. get him to 20 plus. Kevin because, loved it. Yeah, they Kevin. We did it. We did it with Kevin Love. We've done it a bunch of times. So good luck finding top in 20 plus. I'm going to go top in 15 plus plus 280. Mm-hmm. He's averaging about 16 a game, getting better. I think he's going to thrive at home. Obviously, now that if he did this on the road, he should be able to do it at home. 15 plus plus 280 should be a no brainer in this one. And I'm going to plus you have blowout potential here. We don't know. Brunson's probably going to play. We assume he's not, but you should see guys like Toppin and McConnell maybe get some extra burn if this game gets a little bit of a cushion on it with Halliburton having a bad back and some of these guys playing a lot. So could see a minute uptick here, too. Next guy I'm going to is right in the same game, going to TJ Mack in this one. Uh, the Pacers at some point are going to have to realize this guy should be playing 30 minutes a game. I think today is a day where they start to see an uptick. He's hitting double digits in both those games, went for 18 in the first game on 16 shots, 12 assists last game. One of the most productive players on the floor for the Pacers and shooting about 60% from the field uh, mm-hmm. this series and, and blew it out last series too. So I'm going to go him 15 plus also, plus 270. Both these guys have hit this already, and when they missed it, they barely missed it. So – I don't think these are 270s. I think these are 170s. So uh, two guys, plus 270, plus 280, top it in McConnell. What do you think, Matt? No, I, I like that one. Uh, McConnell should play more, too, also because his defense has actually uh, been – I don't know. Better than playing. anyone else, yeah. Yeah, like he's, he's actually slowed Brunson down uh, compared to anyone else on that team. And, um, yeah, so I, I like that. McConnell should see a little more tick tonight in that game. Um, yeah, that spread's interesting too. Like, I, you don't know who's going to play for the Knicks because I, I think OG's like definitely out. OG's uh, out. It looks like if I'm the Knicks, Maddie, I'd probably give Brunson a day off at this yeah, point. Yeah, like, do, do you really want this guy playing half mass the next seven? That's what I'm games? saying. You're probably losing that game anyway. I, I yeah. would just, I would just, you know, kind of punt the game away. And the uh, line yeah. is crazy. Seven and a half on this seven game. Seven and a half. Like, yeah, it's, it's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, it kind of makes me want to have it. They're baiting, patients, they're baiting Nick money here. So yeah. I could see this getting 15, 20 points. Everyone pulls their starters. It could just be a and blowout. Then, and then McConnell and Toppin just run wild in the fourth yeah. quarter. That would be very fun. Very fun, actually. Almost as fun as my next one. I think both of you guys are going to love it. We don't do a lot of stolen base props. At least I don't. You guys probably do. You guys are psychopaths. But, uh, yes. I'm going to go Ellie De La Cruz, stolen base, plus 134 at FanDuel. That's way better than any other book on the planet. Everybody else is at, like, plus 105, which is where I think it really should be. Look here, man. He's probably not going to hit Logan Webb over the fence, but he should hit him, which is a good thing for us. He'll steal second or third. doesn't matter. He'll steal home if he has to. Like, he don't play around. I don't think the Reds are going to do very well against Logan Webb. So that's another reason why. If you see Ellie get on base, they're going to probably try and manufacture a run. The guy runs like a 3-5. So, I mean, speed's not a problem. Logan Webb, last two years, like 28 stolen bases against them. You know what I mean? Like, people run on them. They just they, they just do. That's what they do. So, for that reason, I'm 2-0. Tommy, what do you think about that, bud? I think it's great. You know, anytime you say the name Ellie Dela, I'm in. 
So mm-hmm. I love that. I saw you perk up. Ah, uh, I'd fire. You got to see under the desk. I know. No, that's what I was talking <laughs> Is that what you saw the yeah, camera lift? You saw the whole yeah. thing lift. Yeah, yeah. Love the desk uh, too. Yeah, to six to midnight immediately. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what about you, Matt? You in on that? Uh, yeah, I'm in on it. Uh, I'm in on it. Not Maybe not as much as Tommy, but uh, I'm still in on it uh, for sure. <laughs> Nice work. All right. Well, Matt. I have my girlfriend yell Dela Cruz whenever I'm having a little trouble getting it out <laughs> nice. of bed. <laughs> uh, right, yeah, okay. I'm next. It's a um, kid show, Tommy. Kid show. <laughs> <laughs> Brought the wrong guest on, buddy. <laughs> no, um, all right. I'll uh I'll, I'll clean it up next. I'm going Oilers, guys, uh, on the puck line. They came through last time we picked them on the show. Uh, but minus one and a half tonight is all the way up to plus 200, which is kind of crazy. Okay. Last time they played uh, 4-1, it was, going uh, late in the second, I believe, and then 4-2 in the third. I fell asleep. I, th- I just had money line in that game. I thought I won. I woke up. It was 5-4 Canucks. So uh, we know offensively I've been seeing probably the best offense in hockey, um, Canucks without their starting goalie. I think their offense continues uh, to score four or five goals in this series and um, they, they should be a little bit better defensively in this game. So I think the Oilers bounce back to the better team. And uh, at that price, I think it's too good. And look, if they're up one all game, guys, we get a chance for a little empty netter at the end. We, we know that there's always mm-hmm. come through. So a lot of ways that we could cash this in. But uh, at plus 200, there's way too much value. And also, again, if you want to play it safer, uh, that money line there at, at minus 120, if you want to put that in the parlay instead, um, I, th- I think, you know, definitely safer. But the value is on the puck line here at, at plus 200. Can I throw Sutton in on there? On top of that, I know it's the pick. Oh, yeah. there's, another, there's another fun bet in this game I've been giving out to my subscribers for a long time when it comes to Edmonton. Matt, I think you'll like it. Yeah. Hit last game. It doesn't pop up on FanDuel until about five minutes before puck drop. I don't know why it does that. They don't have it up now. It's each period to have over one and a half goals. And the number on this usually ranges between 250 and 350, depending on the day. So this game should. I'm with you, Matt. I think there could be goals here. I think there yeah. could be a ton of goals in this game. Hit last game, uh, hits in a lot of Edmonton games. You know, just something to take a little flyer on if you're bored right before puck drop at 10 o'clock. And a okay. slop likes to get those late night, like fun. Yeah, no, it's a, late, it's a late one, right? It's a late yeah. game. And 10 10, I think, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. that's perfect. That's and it's an perfect. easy hedge, no, too, if, if you get it in the first if two periods. If it goes south right away, you mm-hmm. just go to bed. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, you know, in the first period. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's yeah. Right. Cool. That, yeah. that was fun. Yeah. But then if it keeps going, now it's a party. Like, yeah. I don't feel like you can lose. No, you can't. It's automatic win. Yeah. All right, Matt. What's up? I mean, because I'll be honest with you. By the time this game starts, Shohei should already have hit his home run, yeah. and we would have been cash. So we're gonna need something. So thank yeah. you, Tommy. The should be in good shape there. The um. All right, I'm going with uh, Dante Divincenzo tonight. So I was gonna do thirty plus, but that's plus five hundred. I'm gonna be a little safer and do twenty five plus at plus two hundred. Again, if you want to get crazy, ladder them all the way up. Uh, but we talked about it. OG won't play tonight. There's a shot Brunson doesn't play tonight. Uh, but even if, you know, Brunson does play, we've seen DiVincenzo in this series going off, shooting the ball really well from three, 25 in game one, uh, 28 in game two. He had 23 against the Sixers in his last time out. So the other thing with the Knicks guys, these guys, like, they don't, they don't come out of the games. Uh, he, he's played 44 minutes in both games in this series against the Sixers in that uh, game six. He played he played the entire game, and, and he gets up a lot of shots, going to get up between – uh, you know, 15, 20 shots, gets to the line. And a lot of his attempts also come from three. He shot the ball pretty well from three-point range this year, 40.1%. So a lot to like with DiVincenzo. And there is an off chance that, like, if Brunson's out, he's going to probably have to – he'll probably be the main scorer. Um, but, again, with, with even with OG out, uh, a little bit more volume for, for Dante tonight. Uh, the only thing that could happen is a blowout here. I think that's the only way we lose this is if the Pacers are uh, smacking them a little bit, which is very possible tonight. But as long as this game's close, Steven Chenzo will go over. So uh, twenty. I'm, officially, I'm going 25 plus a plus 200. Can I show you something? Those are my five plays I had lined up, and Steven Chenzo was the one I knew you'd steal. So. <laughs> nice. <laughs> At least you're prepared. No to the That's Thunder. Dude, I, dude, I got it. I got to build five because I know yep. you're each taking one of them. There we go. That's smart. You came in prepared. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. So that's that's what that's two sports for you, Matt, not three. Yeah. Yes. On the Two baseball sports. sets, three sports. That's huge. Three sports. A little that's nine like three sport parlay. That's kind of fun. It's that's actually yeah. really fun. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna go back to the diamond again. My third one. It's gonna be a guy called Jared Jones. Eight plus K's plus one thirty-eight at FanDuel. 
here's the thing. This guy is a strikeout machine, okay? Like, he just strikes people like it's his job. He's just a kid. He doesn't know any better yet. He doesn't know when – he didn't know that he has to throw to, like, contact, okay? Yeah. He's, he's trying to sit everybody down, which I like. That's what I like about him. Maybe to get older, maybe change a little bit, but whatever. That's not even why we're playing this, though. There's a guy named Paul Skeens coming up. That's all anybody can talk about. He has his own header on FanDuel, Tommy. Have you seen yep, that? Yep, yep. Paul Skeens debut. That's all anybody wants to talk about. But here's the thing. If you've ever heard this Jones kid talk in an interview, like there's no chance he enjoys the Paul Skeens talk. Like He might like him as a person, all that stuff. They're going to be teammates, all that. But, they, dude, he wants to sit everyone down. Like He said that he throws his sweeper – uh, at most cases, because he likes to see guys' knees buckle. Like, that's why he throws it. And you're just like, Jesus, man, this kid is just – like, he's up here, confidence level, okay? He's getting 10 cups at least tonight. I'm going to say eight just because we're trying to hit a parlay here. We're not trying to – you know, I'm not going to steal all the shine. I already have a plus 300 win in this thing. I don't need a plus 800 move. That's but right. um, but anyways, the Cubs, Tommy, have struck out 50 times in the last 154 at-bats. All right, Dylan Cease – Got like 12 of them the other day. Like these guys, they go down. You know what I mean? That's what they do. So eight plus feels pretty easy. It's going to get us started too because it's like a 640 game, which I like that on a Friday. You know, you're grilling, you're drinking beers, you're the first yeah. couple of beers of the night. You're watching Jared Jones, you know, sit guys down like it's his job. It's it's just the perfect start for it. It's like an appetizer. Yes. Yeah. I love it. I, I love, love it. it. I love that. Uh, what do you think of uh, Skeen? Is he going to be Nolan Ryan or no? I had a lot of I had a lot of futures on uh, Jackson Holiday Rookie of the Year, so uh, you don't want to take my advice on young kids coming up this year because that didn't work out very well. <laughs> yeah, no, I think, uh, he, he's nasty. I mean, he should, but Jones is nasty too. Their their rotation. That's the good. thing. I think he's like that's my real angle on this is that you know this kid Jones is probably gonna he wants to strike out thirty people tonight. You yeah. know what I mean? Like he, there's no no doubt in my mind that this is something that he thinks about. No way he doesn't. I don't know. Tommy, you're going to bring us home, man. Let's get to work. So, so let me give a piece of advice first. And we talked about it in pre-show a little bit. So I know everyone comes on here. I do it too. And just throws in a nine-team parlay on this shit, right? And there's plus 300s, mm -hmm. plus 500. The way to do it, I think, and Slop, let me know if you think it's the same. We're trying to hit you guys with big money bangers here and stuff. Mm -hmm. But if Matt's going, you know, puck line, take the money line. If mm -hmm. I'm going 15 plus plus 300, Take the 10 plus, right? Like, so take build one with those regular lines too, because slop nine players at minus 110. If we're on these guys to blow through their number, yeah, nine players at the regular number should hit you for fucking 40x, 100x, yeah. Right? So, I don't know if people do that or not, but just something to, to kind of keep in mind. Maybe. Yeah, I don't do that. Yeah, I, <laughs> you don't don't, do that. I do that. I bring it down, and we almost hit I'll one of them, believe it. it or not. Uh, I'm going <laughs> Nas Reed. I'm going like loser talk. What do you think? <laughs> That's why I'll say because you got. Yeah, I mean, you gotta go. You I'm gotta go turn to ten wall. into like a grand. We're trying to turn <laughs> ten into a million. Right? Who wants to turn ten dollars into? What's a thousand dollars? I'll take a thousand dollars. But I'm gonna do it four grand. If, if give me the choice. I'm going to take the Millie. But well, we're, we're going to do the Millie. Too. I, I do we're understand gonna do the We're going to do the Millie, strategy. too. Yeah, we're going to do I all. I do understand the strategy. I'm doing I, five I'm not saying I don't understand the strategy. I do understand it. Yeah, so let's go Nas Reed here. So coming into okay. this series, was really high on Nas Reed. Going to give you a weird stat that if Gobert misses another game by some chance, Nas Reed averages three and a half blocks a game with Gobert out. It's insane. Ooh, and wow. he averages like none. And he had four last game with Gobert out. So – that was an opportunity we took advantage of. If you see that happen again anytime in the playoffs when Gobert's out, for some reason, Nas Reed gets three or four blocks every time. I'm going with his points here. Uh, in five games against Denver, including the playoffs, 14, 16, 13, 16, 7. He's playing 30 minutes plus, played 29 last game. I think he's taken 25 shots in the two games versus Denver right now. And now they're coming home. We know road players thrive at home. Uh, this is a good spot here. For Nas Reed, I'm gonna take it a little lighter than I initially planned. I was gonna go 15 plus at plus 310. You should play that too, but I'm gonna go with the 12 and a half plus 194 over there on Fando because I feel like I already won. So I'm just gonna play it safe on this last one. Yeah, yeah that, that's three winners for you right there. Put Bring the crown the last on. One. Yeah. That's it. All so right, I'm man. I'm, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Like, I normally don't get tired doing the Thunder. I'm kind of tired right now. I feel like you know, it's a lot. Use, like winning's exhausting. Like, yes. Power. Yeah, we use we use a lot of brain power in that episode. Well, go take go take a nap because I need you at around two o'clock for the Twitter. Space. Yeah, I'm, I was gonna say, <laughs> I come on the spaces today, like at two. Of course, can you come on? What do you mean? We're totally yeah, Maddie, little, you coming? Um, 
Uh, I should be around. I should be around too. Right, yeah. yeah. Two to I'll two be to honest three. with you guys. Like I, I have sixteen guys that are probably gonna hit home runs tonight. Give so me I all. broke them up into two eight leg parlays. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you can't do a sixteen leg parlay uh, with dingers, and both pay uh, right near a million dollars. So. This I, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. This might be the last time you guys ever talk to me. That seems yeah. I would I need you on the show. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Not, yeah, that that'd, seems that'd be fair. I'm not doing any more content. I'm just gonna hang out with all my money. I'm just hanging out. It, it seems day. like you got a 50 50 chance, right? You got 50 percent chance. Yeah, that. that's so, what I thought too. Yeah. Well, one's a little better than the other one, so I, I'd say 55 60, to 45. Yeah, maybe 60. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's good <laughs> 60, odds for a million. 30. Yeah, so like yeah, so, no, so we'll talk about that on the um on the live stream later on, but we will talk about it on your uh, Twitter spaces too, Tommy. So should be a lot to talk about. I can't wait. A lot of fun tonight. All right. So if you guys don't have anything else to say to the people, I think they got, they have a lot of parlays to make, so they should probably go. We should probably go. Yep. See you guys later.